Hello, in uh, this uh, short video we will see the answer to question 5 on the calculation of support reactions. To solve this question we will be applying the typical uh, methodology. Uh, it is always good to start by uh, substituting all supports with their respective reactions. So here at point A we will be having a vertical reaction RAY and a horizontal reaction RAX. We also have a vertical reaction at point D, which is RDY. It is vertical, of course, because the roller points upwards. Uh, I keep uh, repeating the fact that the reaction from a roller is in the direction of the roller, not necessarily vertical. It is a very common mistake. Now, here, this is the free body diagram. So the next step would be to analyze force um, at point E. This is the only inclined force we have. So this one can be substituted by two perpendicular components, horizontal and the vertical one. Let me draw the force over here. So if this is the force at point E, which is 10 kN, the vertical component would be this one, the horizontal component would be this one, Fy and F x respectively. So first we need to calculate the angle at this point, angle theta. We are given two sides here so it is possible to calculate angle theta from its, from its tangent. Tangent of theta is 3 over 2. So theta is the inverse tangent of 1.5. This means that angle theta is approximately 56.31 degrees. So since I know that, I can apply it to calculate Fy and Fx. Fy equals the 10 kN force times the sine of angle theta. And it can be seen because angle theta is over here, so its sign is the opposite, Fy over the hypotenuse, 10. So if I can solve for that, I just get this formula directly. Now, to calculate that, this will be Eight point three two kilonewtons. Similarly, I can calculate Fx. So Fx is the ten kilonewton force times the cosine of angle theta which I can calculate and it gives us a result of 5.55 kN. Let me also write this over here, 5.55 kN and 8.32 kN. So now I just need to apply the equations of equilibrium. Typically I start with the sum of moments about any point. Here, I will start with the sum of moments about point A. Let's assume that the ones which are clockwise are the positive moments. So, let's start with the moment over here, 30 kN meters, minus the moment of this horizontal component, because it turns it tends to turn it counterclockwise, so minus 5.55 5 
times the distance. Now this is supposed to be uh, at the mid height, so times 3.5 over 2. I have another force that creates a moment about point A, which is the 20 kN force. It's a clockwise, so plus 20 times 5. And I have a third force that creates a moment about point A, which is the reaction RDY. It is a counterclockwise moment, so it is a negative 1 minus RDY times 8 meters. All of them need to sum up to zero. So if I can solve this equation here for RDY, RDY times eight equals 120.30. So R D Y equals 15.04 kilonewtons. And now I can take the sum of forces in Y direction and the sum of forces in X direction to calculate the other two reactions. So if I go, let's say, to the sum of forces in x direction, I don't have to go to the sum of forces in y direction explicitly. Let's assume that the ones that point to the right are positive because Rax points to the right. It would not make any difference in the result. So Rax minus 5.55 and I don't see any other force over here, horizontal, so all of them have to sum up to zero, which means that Rax equals 5.55 kilonewtons. Of course, this could have been calculated even without having calculated Rdy. Nevertheless, let's go to the last one, Fy. The sum of Fy equals zero. All forces in y direction have to sum up to zero. Let's assume that the ones pointing upwards are positive. So Ray plus 8.32, which is the force at point E, minus 20, which is the force at point F, plus 15. 0.04, which is reaction RDY, have to sum up to zero. So if I solve for RAY, it is negative 3.36 kilonewtons, meaning that it should be in the opposite direction. But uh, as I keep saying, it is still fine this answer is acceptable and if you need to use it for example to calculate the internal forces my suggestion would be to leave it as is and keep the sign as well thank you for watching and feel free to get in contact with me if you have any questions